The first file that I need to create in order for my website to operate is the home page. I've created a little bit of content here. Here's a level one header, some content, level two header. When this page gets rendered as HTML, these will actually be HTML H1 and H2 elements. When I'm ready to save them, I need to save them in the test website and I need to create the docs folder if it's not already there. Then I need to save this file and call it index.md. I'm now ready to push that page up to GitHub. Returning to the GitHub website, if I go to the code page, here is my docs folder, and here is the index.md file that I pushed up to the repository. If I want to see how it is rendered, then I need to go to the URL that was shown on the Pages tab of the settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on this, but keep in mind that sometimes it takes Jekyll a while to render a website. This is a very small website, so it got rendered relatively quickly, but for larger websites it could take as long as several minutes. So here is the website. It's not looking exactly the way that I want it to, but I do have a level one header, a level two header, and some content. My landing page isn't very interesting, so I need to add at least one picture and one link. And what would a website be without a picture of a cat? Let's go to Wikimedia Commons and pick out one that we like. I'll just copy the URL here and go back into my markdown and insert it as an image. In this case, I'm retrieving it directly from the Wikimedia Commons website. I could save the image in the same directory and just use the file name here. I also should probably have some kind of a link. So let's add a link. And now I think we're ready to publish this again. I will save and then go to GitHub Desktop. Here are my changes. I will push them up to the web. Now I'll refresh the web page, but keep in mind it may not actually be rendered yet, so we may have to wait a few moments to be able to see the changes. There we go. Here's my nice cat, and here's my link. This is a very nice little web page, but one of the problems is it doesn't have much in the way of styling. So the next thing that we need to do is to figure out how to add a theme to our web page.